world of metal and thank you for having us and greetings from our spaceship we're currently on our way to Seinäjoki to celebrate the release of Anversum album uh, we're gonna play tonight at one of our favorite venues in Finland part of 15 and we're stoked to uh, once again hit the stage there but yes. yeah Somehow in Seinäjoki we have lots of Dö fans. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> a bit like Cuckoo over there, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. At, at least ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and one with a tattoo. Yeah. But yeah, about your question... Uh, that's, that counts ten, <laughs> at least. Sure. Well, um, yeah, but the, about the question, yeah, uh, for us, I think the Universum is just the beginning of the journey. Nothing has ended. Instead, well, maybe the process, long process, but um, this is only the beginning of a new era in 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 Dur's chapters and, and story. Uh, it was a long, long process that took uh, about five years uh, from pretty much from our first rehearsals with Deroid, who joined the band in 2019 and uh, when we played the first rehearsals we immediately start, started jamming some of the songs that ended up to be on the, uh, on the album which was pretty cool but they transformed and, and took their shape during the years and um, unfortunately there were the uh, pandemic in, in, in 2020 21 that kind of like cut our good project vibe. <laughs> yeah vibe it, like we, we got a little bit of you know, trouble with motivation and, and, and some and, health issues so uh, they also affected to to the songs but all in all we're really happy now to have the album completed yes and I have to say uh, me and Tero, uh, we Teroid, <laughs> we knew each other from the former band, which we used to play a couple of years, uh, maybe ten years ago. But uh, it was, my opinion, it was very easy to play with Teroid because we had that chemistry between us, like. Uh, from from the start so for me the transition uh, was pretty easy but as they said uh, pandemic and, and all the things that happened that that delayed our creativity but now it's out and it's fucking huge Well, it's it's my first album with the. Yeah. Let's start with that. <laughs> yeah, first first full <laughs> album. Yeah, full yeah, album. Yeah. yeah, we released Black Hole Mass EP in what 20, 20? 20 or twenty twenty that uh, twenty twenty something like that. Yes. Yeah. But the uh, pandemic outburst. Yeah, yeah, and that. That only had like three songs that we created pretty much for the EP and didn't have anything to do with um, the album in a way. Uh, but at least for me, who's been in, in the band the longest, uh, this is... Only an uh, original member. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at least for me, Unversum represents the uh, the most versatile and mature album so far. Yeah. Uh, we've never paid so much attention to pre-production or production in any way <laughs> <laughs> as we did on this album. Well, we did. We did. We did yeah, yeah. careful yeah. demos. We had <laughs> fuck the production. <laughs> I don't understand anything about productions, but but we had meetings and we. We like we really thought 
the yeah. songs through. We we wrote a couple of extra songs that we ended up uh, leaving out from the album. Yeah. So uh, even though our music should be like laid back and relaxed and and not too serious, I think these songs and this whole album is like pretty well crafted and and and, and well thought. Yeah, and I think uh, this is the most like massive and uh, most versatile like uh, material that we have uh, ended up doing so far. It's but as we said, uh, it's like a beginning in a certain way for us. Janne uh, Jandromeda has been here like uh, from the start, but uh, us, Teroid and I, I have been here like uh, not so many years, but still this, this feels like a new beginning, new start, because this is like uh, uh, the material is, is kind of uh, that we haven't done yet before. Yeah. And that's all thanks to Teroid. Yes. I have a shitload of pedals and stomp boxes, so... <laughs> and riffs. <You> can... <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Riff well. <laughs> exactly. Well, the tagline of, of the whole album is like there is no I in Unversion. It's kind of like wordplay but it has this deeper meaning which comes a bit from this meme that there's no there is an I in team and it's hidden in the a-hole thing that um, in a way Unversion is a place where where you should know your place, in a way, that um, self-importance and and selfishness and power tripping, power tripping, um, that people tend to do these days is so toxic and harmful that it's leading humanity towards the end, at least faster than it probably will will happen soon so so the, the whole theme of the album and the whole idea behind this astral death cult thing is in a way admitting the the meaning meaningless of people and humanity in in a big picture that is some in, in some way comforting, co co uh, but also like terrifying, which makes it pretty interesting. And yeah, uh, lyrics were written collectively more than ever. Uh, I've usually been in charge of of the texts, which is the part that I least enjoy when writing the songs. And this time, especially Teroid came up with a lot of good like names and, and and lyrics that that were used as baseline for 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 the songs and, and it helped a lot because he's naturally interested in space and all that stuff he's the geek <laughs> yeah. So. yeah and uh, my contribution is this uh, I think this uh, meme Sums, sums it up <laughs> like <laughs> what, what we are thinking about. That's we are pretty fucked. much spot on. Yeah. What it says. The world isn't flat or round, it's fucked. Okay. Yeah. Amen. For the live, live gigs that we uh, have now, actually more than 
ever, I think, uh, this this fall. Like within uh, like three months. Yeah, yeah, like yes, yes. Uh, we are not so like uh, keen to uh, do live kicks like uh, every weekend or so. But now now we are, have like many many gigs so far, and it's it's fun because now we have uh, the new material, which is fucking killer, and it's fun to play the new material because we like uh, many years played the old songs nothing wrong with that but it it kind of uh, now it's really exciting to play the new material and uh, for me actually this is this is our releasing album releasing uh, gig that we are driving now and uh, I expect to see a lot of our fans because in Seinäjoki, where we are heading, uh, there's lots of our fans and always like a full house, and it like uh, drives me into <laughs> a kind of insanity, and and uh, I tend to do like a stripsies show during the during the gig always and uh, maybe you'll see some some, some, some kind of some <laughs> some live material <coughs> after after wise yeah. so but we don't have the pole tuned. or anything like that yeah. on stage <laughs> yet yeah. i destroy drums i can't play yeah yeah live wise we're having uh, at least two or three new cities or towns yeah uh, size-wise in in Finland that we're hitting this fall that's pretty cool yeah. and and also lots of those familiar places where where yeah. we know it's fun to play yeah so it's gonna be rad and next year hopefully we'll hit Western Europe mm. maybe let's see yeah and, and more gigs in Finland also yeah Stay doomed. <laughs>